Ooh, what's up, everybody? Uh, why has that been happening? It's weird that it's just black. Like, it's not, it's not no signal, it's just black. Black screen. See, that's what happens when there's no signal. But, bang, there we go. Now, oh, thank you, Zephyr. What's up, Crab Crab Foam? Good to see you. Hello, Kenny. Uh, King Saren, good to see you. Kid Cowboy. A lot of <laughs> Chaim, good to see you. A lot of good uh a lot of good folks in chat already. Yeah, you, you like that wallpaper, Captain? That's a fake screenshot. Uh I I don't know. It would be hard to fake this, I think. Uh it's a four by three photo. I've had this saved for decades. So this would have had to come, like, maybe 10 years at least. This would have had to come from an era where Photoshop was way worse. And the fact that it's, like, curved, there's a light shine on it that's very, like, accurate. I don't know. It's a good wallpaper, though, isn't it? All right. I'll play Zelda. Let me boot up my Wii U here. <laughs> yep. Desktop roulette. There's a couple of very painful bullets loaded in that gun. Luckily, there's about, like... 50,000 chambers and only maybe five, five hot rounds in there. Mm. It's not supposed to do that. <sighs> Never did this. What are you doing? Just decided to not work. <sighs> I loaded this 30 minutes ago. And now it's not doing anything. It's just just hanging right here. Great. Love it. Good stuff. Oh, now, to complicate matters, I am in the middle of exporting a video. Uh, but it's done. Now it's just packing, and that should be on a... Nope! Different drive. Yeah, actually, it might. It might. No, it's not, actually. Shit, it's on this drive. I can't stop it, though. Fucking Premiere renders out audio and video to two separate files and then combines those into your packaged video file. I don't know why it does it like that. It seems really inefficient to me, but it means that it creates a <laughs> an AAC and an M4V file, the video and the audio, separately, and then they decide to copy that both over into the MP4 container. So that's the step I'm at now. It doesn't tell you jack shit about how long that takes or how, how close it's done to doing it. Um, it just very slowly copies over that stuff. And then I forgot that this is also running off the same drive. That doesn't matter, though. Once it's loaded, we'll be off to the races. Now, last time I played this was during the subathon. I got, like, two-thirds of the way through this Divine Beast. Uh, I'm gonna be playing Redfall with Bruce in an hour and change. I was hoping to finish up this Divine Beast before that, but we'll see what happens. My, uh, my gaming dance card fills up pretty quickly these days. Gonna be playing Redfall with Bruce, then uh, doing a Final Fantasy raid with the other group. Uh, where we got to the second phase of Pandemonium 8. I was not here for the last session, so I'm actually kind of behind. But in, in addition to doing a bunch of other stuff this morning, I watched the guide for the next mechanic. High concept! Anyway, what am I up to here? God, it looks so good! Mm, can't get over how good it looks all the time. High frame rates and whatnot. So it looks like I got two more thingies to get to. Allie B, thank you very much for the prime. Thank you for the sub, I appreciate that. Yeah, apparently Bruce already played it a little bit, which is good, because that means I can join his game and see further into the game without having to play it myself. <laughs> I could be playing as Zelda herself. I am playing as Zelda. It's called The Adventure of Zelda, Breath of the Link. All right. Oh man, you can kind of see the like layout of the rooms and stuff. Man, I'm gonna have to remember how to get all the way up there again. Ooh. Xor or Xtor. Again, I'm gonna make the disclaimer. If I ever flub your name bad, just let me know. We're just 
Doing the whole twirl, huh? You're just twirling the whole way. I'm trying to remember. I don't think. I have Revali's Gale. So I might be able to just, like. Yeah. Dang it! Oh! Oh, I see. I might be able to just jump up through this hole. Oh, no, wait, I can't. The gate's on the other side. Never mind. Okay, so there's no way to get from this central room up into the second floor up there. So you gotta get it. I guess you gotta get into there from the outside. The exterior. Uh, there was another. I can climb. Did I just never see this ladder here? Maybe I didn't. Oh. Perhaps it's more complicated than I thought. Okay. No entrance from this side. Hmm. Took the plunge on Seam yesterday. Holy crap, it's literally game changing. It is, right? It really makes you appreciate just how good this game is at its core. How well made and well designed it is. It makes me do that anyway. I don't think I can go up and over it, you know? Connecting bridge. Oh, I can get on top of the bridge, maybe? Surely not, like, the intended way to do it. There's got to be a way to get up there without using cheats and hacks. <laughs> yeah, having weird, uh, having weird glitches where you're swimming through air is a little odd. A little bit weird. I agree with that. I don't think I can hit anything from down here. Owsies! Owsies! I had to create some... <laughs> So some new pipelines for that. What is Simu? It is a Wii U emulator. So I'm playing the Wii U version of the game on the Simu emulator on PC. So that's how it can be so buttery smooth. Changes weapons one of these days. Come on. There we go. What does that do? Oh, that's right. You have to like line it up and then it's a power source or something like that. That's fine. I'm just remembering how to play Zelda, really. Okay. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Remember, you can, like, raise the head, and that makes the L like the little platform sling down here. But I don't... I thought you did that via the map. Maybe you have to have activated all the podiums before that does it. Using a Switch Pro Controller. Yes. Uh, I cannot get mine to connect they recently added in motion controls. So yeah, I, I have motion controls working as well. Um, I There's a specific Bluetooth dongle that 
is like compatible or fully compatible with Switch Switch Pro. Um, so that's what I, I use to connect it to my PC. And then there's another application called Better Joy for Simu that allows you to kind of map through the motion controls from a from a pro controller to a Wii U gamepad. Which is how that how that is sort of passed along. So it's a bit hacked together. But it works. You shouldn't need better joy for Simu anymore. Oh. Really? It has native support? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not definitely I'm not I'm not raised enough to make this matter. Another power conduit? Oh, that is the power conduit. Okay. I see. Okay. So maybe I need to get the thingies powered at the other end. Yeah, I did notice uh, various slots or various options for that, for native uh, motion control support. I just didn't mess with them. I'm just hap like basically happy enough to get any kind of functioning controller set working. Wait, no. I don't yeah. This. I don't remember going through the this tube, the neck tube. I mean, this is what I got to do now. All right, all right, we're getting somewhere. So glad you're playing this. All the other streamers are playing games I want and don't want to be spoiled. Oh yeah, that's that's the thing, huh? Like Jedi Survivor. I'm gonna be, well, you probably don't care too much about Redfall, which is nice. <laughs> so I'll be playing that next, but yeah. I learned that that was, wait, did I drop the shield and it broke? Maybe I got hit by the laser and evaporated. I was gonna try, oh, there it is. I realize that's the advantage of being like a retro streamer or playing games that aren't like hyper current was that it's easier for them to fall into a category where they do just exist as entertainment. People are willing to just watch them for what they are. Yeah, I certainly don't necessarily enjoy watching streams of... Scale is now ready. Thanks, buddy. Of hypercurrent releases for that reason, so I get it. Okay, good. You just keep rotating. It more or less cancels. Well, uh, I have done that now. Is there another powered nodule somewhere? having spoiled was 7 Remake. That's an important one to not have spoiled, I think. I mean, probably you'll 
Probably be the same with Final Fantasy 16, right? I would be. And I'm still gonna stream it, but. It almost feels like the the perfect the perfect thing for me is to just stream stuff a little bit after. So I can play newer releases, but enough people opt out. Hmm. Full dark on Final Fantasy 16. Yeah. Same here, Titan. I'm like, I'm not even watching preview material. So let's see here. Ah! Giddy Goose! Appreciate that sub. Thank you very much. So yeah, that makes this rotate. So I can, I remember being able to ride this up. How you doing, Giddy Goose? We're gonna be getting giddy with the gooses in a minute here. About an hour. Boink! Boink! <laughs> a little bouncy. Any reason for me to be down there? Can't think of any. Oh, also, is there a marker to show that you've opened all the treasure chests in a uh, Divine Beast dungeon? Does that exist? I've gone full dark on games. Wait, hold on a second. I'm interested in since reviews started being real samey and needlessly critical on games I ended up enjoying anyway. Yeah! I, I have thoughts about... Ugh! Why did you turn like that, Link? God damn, man. Ah... <sighs> Well, at least there's a door at both ends. Link had to do the wide sw swivel. Anyway, uh, I have my own opinions about that. Um, yeah, game writers tend to write like each other a lot. They tend to use a lot of the same phrases. A lot of groupthink. Unintentional groupthink, I think. I mean, I, eh, I guess I can't psychoanalyze people I don't know too much, but... I was definitely disappointed when I started breaking into, like, written games media at how just, like, kind of non-critical a lot of it ended up being. Just kind of the same thing. People just saying, saying the same words in the same way, in a safe way. It's weird. Everybody everybody wants to have their head pat and be told that their, their opinion is real good and, and said real smart. But then they all just kind of use the same phrases. It's so weird. Anyway, that's me talking shit. Oh, the rat race of having the first review up on Metacritic to get the clicks make the reviews feel not thought out. Yeah. Um. That, yeah. That whole thing is really confusing to me. That whole... Whole thing. It feels like it's it's a mix of, of agenda. Like, on one hand, you, you need to take advantage of the preview window that you were honestly given by publishers for the sake of co-promotion. But on the other hand, you, like, also want your work to be a timeless criticism of good art. Um, and, and, and reviewers try to combine those, those goals into a game review, which is, is weird because, like, most people who want game reviews early don't want, like, to be told how the game will live up over the course of years, uh, they just want to know if it's fun right now and if they can, if, if it's good to buy. So it's it, like a review at embargo is really more of a new buyer's guide. Uh, it's a it's a consumer report. At least that's how people treat it. But writers, understandably, don't want to be stuck just like constantly reviewing consumer goods. They'd like to believe that their work is more important than that. And to some people, it is. To some people, uh, I guess what what I find is that. The two audiences are... Oh, shit. Uh, I gotta learn... I gotta remember how to, how to fight these things. The two on audiences are served interchangeably, which is... doesn't make sense to me. 
or if I'm if I get more conspiratorial, it feels like writers use the fact that people are are coming to the review for consumer information and they're kind of like writing that to put their art criticism into the world. Oh, thank you, Pergil. Instead of reading an actual review, I'd rather watch some YouTube dude who's just straight up with that. The before you buy dudes, just give the lowdown on what the game offers. And there's, like, the audiences have chosen. And I think there's a lot of, like, resentment in written media to new media and video for, like, stealing the audience. Or providing something, like, dumber and less researched, but... Yeah, I don't know. There's there's all kinds of dynamics at play. That like I said, I have I have my opinions about, but that doesn't make me right. It's uh I just I've spent a great deal of time thinking about what reviews are, why people read them and what makes for, for good reviews. And I was, again, speaking only about the, the some of the people that I worked with, was frustrated to see that many of them did not, did not spend any time considering any of that. Uh, it was just a lot of like, this is the most easy and approachable thing to get paid to, ha to have to do something with games. That was a lot of the people that I, I ended up working with. I actually uh, just saw a, a post because the writer strike is going on. I saw a post that was explicitly telling uh, media and writers and games to not use this opportunity to scab their way into the entertainment industry, which I thought was fun because I definitely know a lot of people in gaming or in games media that would desperately prefer to be in in like TV or movies, like. Some people just want to be in entertainment. And like going through streaming and gaming media was was again the like the most approachable thing. Is that a, is that a hittable switch? Is that what you are? I have to actually hit it though. No. What are you? What are you guy? But yeah, that's That was that was an observation that I made as well that I was I was frankly a little bit stunned at. I could not believe that somebody would be paid to make games media content and have that be their like their day job. That's what you get to do all day, but still want something else. Um, just because, just because it was the impossible dream for me. Like if your dream if your dream is to be a world's best garbage man or something like that. It would be weird for you to meet somebody who doesn't want to be a garbage man. You're like, how could you not? It's the most amazing thing. But it turns out there's different people in this world. Oh, hold on. I guess I can get yeah, I can get this now. Got some, got some prog happening. We saw people scab their way into writing with the last strike. It gave, a, gave us Quantum of Solace and Storage Wars. Not exactly Just a successful venture. I guess it rem I guess it remains to be seen what uh what those writers ended up going on to do. But yeah, apparently, <laughs> unsurprisingly, if you scab over a strike, the Writers Guild will blacklist you forever. So it was that was part of the message of like, hey, a lot of aspiring writers out there. Just FYI, if you're caught scabbing, you're done forever. This? <laughs> Talking about the strike. Eh, just a, a variety of things. I have to admit, though, it's pretty insensitive of me to, to speak so so dismissively about, about traditional games media when there's just been such a rash of layoffs. And and a lot of the a lot of the workers 
who were who were still at it and like producing good content did have a good mind around it. I'm I'm mostly speaking from the bitterness of the like mid aughts. That was just a, a pretty trash time all around. I feel so petty. What, on my, on my behalf? There's some pettiness in me. I don't want it to be there. If I'm if I'm really being honest, uh, this will be this will be a moment of of bitter transparency. I'm just kind of a little bummed. Oh, blacklisting. Oh yeah. Well, if you're scabbing, you're kind of circumventing the whole circumventing the whole reason, the whole process. I kind of get it. Solidarity is the only thing that makes a strike work. Let's see. I feel like I need to. Let's see. Is it down here? I feel like I need to take the orb over here to this thing. Because there's no other way to power this. But I don't know what that's going to do. But it's got to be something good, right? I wonder if the games media layoffs is beneficial for the more passionate who lost their jobs. Now they can all make their own inside games channels and potentially make way more money. Mmm. I wonder. I think, uh... That's the, that's the most, like, ideal version, yeah. I guess that's, that's maybe the other thing, too, is if, if there's a market for what you're, what you're making and saying, then you can just take it direct to the, to the people, right? Through any number of platforms. The problem there is you got to share like you got to share 30% of whatever you make off the top, then you got to pay taxes on that too. So I can see how that'd be very scary. Also there's not just like loads and loads of Patreon support going around. It's weird how like the early movers kind of kind of like soaked it all up. Again, not saying that that's like undeserved in any stretch. I'm just uh just kind of looking at trends. Like easy allies and kind of funny and stuff. The people who who launched their brands through uh, social social funding in the mid 2010s seem to have seem to have gotten in good and gotten in nearly permanently too. Oh, this, this opened up. Is this good? I feel like it's not good that I did this. It's not good. There's two of them. So it's not easy. It's a shitload of work. But yes, yeah, so I think in an ideal world, um, everybody in this circumstance uh, would be able to find a. Uh, find better and, and more uh, efficient work. That's certainly what I did. Man, I was I was grinding out all manner of games media for a company and the second I went independent is when my workload halved and my, my revenue doubled. I was I even able to like start up like I can I can pay contractors and kind of get a team going, which is was was always my goal. Now it's just a, a logistics game. It's about like trying to decide how to spend time. That's really what it comes down to. Oh, gym membership effect? I never thought about it that way, old old bones. Huh. Yeah, well, that's business. You know? Right place, right time. Are there apples in here? Yes. 
Okay. There must be another orb. If I were another orb, power orb, where would I be? About those early adopters on audience-funded entertainment, do you think it's too soon to say if we've reached our peak or burnout on the next new crowdsource thing? I don't know if there's a groundbreaking new way to suck people dry. I don't think so, no. I think it's really just down to disposable income. And then it's just greater economic factors. Uh, people, theoretically, don't just have pockets stuffed with cash that they can discretionarily spend on, on disposable online media. Uh, chat GPT, yeah. As someone who produces media that's, that's by and large good enough, and I wouldn't say particularly inspired by the human condition on a daily basis. Chat GPT is interesting. Hopefully I'm weird enough that AI can't recreate the way that I stream. But you never know. I think I gotta dial up the weirdness. More memes. E. You knew it was coming. Yeah, Gafgarian. Definitely playing on emulator. I I don't know that I could ever I don't know that I could ever tolerate playing this game on anything but emulator right now. Keep. Oh, there you are, tricky little guy. Whoop. <sighs> Playing it on the Switch right now? Nice. Oh. Pretty sure it's in the middle. Right? Yes. Yes. Well done. That was the last of the terminals. Now, you'll need to start up the main control unit. Take a good look at your map. Head for the glowing mark you see there. You're doing well. But overconfidence can be a deadly foe. I know what I'm doing. Ain't no Ganon gonna ruffle my feathers. Oh. Oh, that's right. The top center of the thingy. If I can, uh, maybe I can reach out to some of these, some of these riders, get something going in the meantime. I guess ultimately, hmm. does it have to be powered? Probably. Ah, that's fine. I've reached the point now where my underwear elastic band flips down on me constantly. Sharday, that's been my entire experience wearing elastic band underwear. And you know what's funny is I've I've dreamt about the time when my elastic band like fits around a waistline normally and doesn't keep like popping down. Oh wait, it's just Ganon time. Oops. I thought uh I thought it would be something else. Nope. Better by Gannon. All right, cool, cool shit. Cletus Christ, thanks for the sub. Stay on your edge, Link. This formidable adversary was made by Gannon and brought me to a warrior's demise 100 years ago. Do not allow this to be your end. What happens if I die fight in this fight? Your life and it's death. Or if I save in the middle of it and die? What happens? Let's find out. Save the game. What a cool like. Still image for the save file though, huh? This thing is fast. Watch yourself. Oh! 
<laughs> That's pretty sick, actually. <laughs> Let's keep that one. Dead. This thing is fast. I caught it in a blur and immediately died. I had a I had a fairy potion. I guess you just have to have fairies. Oh, okay, you have to run back to it. Hey, right. hey. I have attack boost. I have defense boost. If you die and reload a save, do you get your food back? Because it would be handy to do the defense buff so that maybe I can, like, get hit more than once? This thing is back. Watch yourself. Dead. Why does Long roll around on the ground when he dies? That is a Simu bug, I believe. Does it save the compendium? No, it doesn't. I have to get it again? Oh boy. There might be a, a safer time to take a photo. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. <laughs> Fuck! God! <laughs> I like the twirling. <sighs> to, like... I can't remember the series of buttons you have to hit to put the camera away and bring out your shield. And I have one second, after not playing the game for months, to remember that. It's that. But also it doesn't seem to work? This thing is fast. Watch yourself. Fuck. Link! Turn... <sighs> sure do love that it pulls out magnesis every time too this is great <laughs> yeah laser cat this game is this game is quite a revelation on on emulator so if it rolls back the if it rolls back the photo surely it'll roll back my food too right defense up Oh yeah, also, let me put on clothes that might have higher defense. I don't think, yeah. There we go. Okay, that'll probably help. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. Is there a way to recenter the camera? Or do you... Like, if this boss just teleports behind you, you're fucked. Because you can't turn around. Well, I guess you could just do that. Oh, that recenters the camera. Okay, alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Metal shield might increase damage. I mean, I can't... I can't hit him. Doesn't seem like it. There. Nope, not that button. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. Okay. Oh 
boy, that's not gonna work. Ugh, boy. Timing seems pretty reliable for his whoosh whoosh. I'm gonna guess I can probably get some good flurry rushes off of that. But it's maybe if I change my gear here and then save, it'll remember it. Did you do the hardest one first? Second. Second. Uh I did I did Rivali. First, or the Ruto first. <laughs> I mean, I still got one shot, even with the defense and armor, quote unquote. I can equip a better bow, too, I think. So, that one that fires three? Yeah. the second but I grinded out the master sword before coming here yeah I should have exchanged a lot of my uh, stamina for hearts should have done that before I came but I did so here I am I'm gonna knock him this down before I try fast. to take his photo no I'm not Boy, I hope I get there in time. Okay, good. You wanna, what? Oh, oh, phase two. Well, I did remember my armor. That's good. I remembered my bow. Okay, cool. Just boy, do I wish I didn't make me take the, uh, the picture every time. How am I supposed to get my one thing is fast? Hundred percent.
so I guess you can't. Ah, fuck! Oh, I didn't die. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, the camera angles is not the best. That's okay. Watch that light. You got it. Maybe you can interact with these po poles that he slammed down in here some way. No. Thanks. The orange game over? I guess yellow. Whatever. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. doesn't help but like really doesn't like locking on. Let's see if I can get a good twirl on him. What? No link! What the fuck? Huh! Huh! How is he just invincible sometimes? Hey! Bom like, the bomb arrows sometimes do a shitload of damage and sometimes they do absolutely nothing. I truly can't tell what the difference is. Oh, his shield was up? Okay. Sometimes it does damage even when he has a shield up. I guess bomb arrows just do nothing to his shield or something? That's all I can figure. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. Uh, nice one, Link. Damn it, dude! What is your? Uh, uh. God, the lock on us is, is such an enemy in this fight. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nothing sucks more than seeing your on screen character just like swinging wildly three inches away from what you're trying to hit. <sighs> against him? Thunder? How does that not count? Go. Shit. Man, you really have no time at all. Okay, but you can follow up after. Fuck off. Unleash your power. What the 
lockdown. How does that not count? Oh, so as soon as he starts regenerating his shield. <sighs> Link, why did you do two attacks? Okay. Do you have to be locked on for, um... You have to be locked on for Flurry Rush to, to spawn? Or to happen? To proc? Whatever. Alright, asshole. Maybe I have to go interact with something. Run up here. Let's see what's going on up here. Maybe I just gotta bash his uh, shield? Anything going on out here, maybe? Just let him get all his health back. Oops. Maybe I can break his shield with normal arrows and then just... Ah! Well, I didn't mean to do that, but... Can I rotate stuff? No? left. Ah. Yeah, he did. His life bar is gone. What the fuck? Um. I mean, I guess I left. So he's just like, all right, fine. Link dipping again. you know you can't win them all okay all right mystery of how to hurt him in second phase is still unsolved get to take his picture again though so that's good this thing is fast watch yourself yeah See me going oopsie doopsie. Why is it? What? There, geez, I guess it was just hitting up every time. No, what? How did he get his shield back automatically? What the fuck is that? Usually he has to do that thing where he like goes up and, and resummons it. Man. Yeah. Now there's there's been two people to just 
drop mean gameplay hints, but I'm ignoring them. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. Hey, Sir Wizard Lar. I think about your Reggie fils interview with Elise all the time. That was some pretty quality content, huh? Although, in retrospect, kind of just aping Mega64, but it's a fine company to be in, huh? That's kind of cool. Fuck. Oh, God, it keeps losing lock. It sucks so bad, dude. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> yeah, I know Bruce is getting ready. He usually goes live around like 1.30. I guess he's live now. But he usually like... Likes to hype up the audience, blow his whistle a little bit, give away a PS5 or something. Hey, Bib10. Thank you for the sub. It is, in fact, a great day of gaming. It is, in fact. Watch yourself. Yes, Bruce Co-op is happening. Where the fuck is the lock on? Damn, man. Ugh, fuck. Like, you have to run away from him, but the lock on centers the camera. So you end up just running away from him all the time. And then he does a stupid little blink thing. And it doesn't give you the lock on back. How the fuck are you supposed to do that? Damn, bro. Oh, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> the most annoying thing. It's like they made a boss specifically to be annoying with the exact mechanics that they have in the game. <sighs> you being a tw will you be doing a 24 hour stream for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom? Maybe. Probably, yeah. I actually asked Bruce if he wanted to do a drinking game, and he was like, No, I'm doing a subathon. I'm like, Alright. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. This is. This is the streamer economy. So you're gonna have to split your. Fuck! Split your money. Get up! You did it. What? That was weird. Do you have to, like, hit the button again? Like, okay, so when he gets knocked down, he gets a free shield. Fuck! God! They, like, they take away your ability to do, to do rush, even if you have the timing, because... Because it keeps breaking the lock for you. God, that sucks. Sometimes you accidentally get it back. That's what it feels like. Streamer economy? El Noe, thank you for the sub. I guess there's parry. Yeah, I forgot about that. It's as risky as backflipping, really. So let's see here. I wonder if I can just blast him with arrows. Everyone's told me to use Magnesis, but I'm not going to. As a punishment. Bitch, where did you go? All 
All right, so no breaking his shield with arrows then. Oh, he's up. Okay. He usually he usually starts at 130, but I can swap over. I never I never know. I never know. Oh, that's right. You got to like hold him up near him. And then I guess he like I guess he just falls or gets stunned or something. It's a bit... It doesn't really make logical sense, does it? You're, like, using thunder to hurt the guy who is strong against thunder or is thunder. But I guess that's the same idea as, like, knocking back uh, fairy balls and stuff. Okay. It's Redfall time. I'm gonna switch over to Redfall. I did just save, so there's nothing, there's nothing to lose here. Uh, I don't know. I never actually tried using the thunder sword against him. I just assumed... It wouldn't work. Uh, I'll be right back with Redfall with Boos. See you in just a moment. What is your name? Ah! Oh, we game it. All right. Whoop. Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. So I'm at the end of this dungeon. Oh, yeah. Just have what? Mm. Is there... Does anyone know if, like on a shrine, you know how there will be a... It'll put a little icon next to it if you found all the treasures in it? Is there any way that that's... Is there any marking like that for Divine Beasts dungeons? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Alright. Uh, Alright. I remember. It was about 12 hours ago. 11 hours ago. I was fighting Thunderblight Gan. I've been on a whirlwind tour of video games since then, and I'm back. Stronger than ever. I didn't actually get a lot of sleep last night. And I'm dieting real hard, so I'm low on- I'm low on food- I'm low on food, but it doesn't- it doesn't matter! Doesn't matter. Cause it's gamer time. Ah, oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead, it's all gone. Alright, we're back at it, though. Look how good this looks at high frame rate. God, I can't get over it. Ugh. It's impeccable. It's timeless. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. Achievement over there. This nerd sliding around like an idiot. Oop! These things did not hit me at all the last time I fought this thing, and now I can't help but dance into them. What a sick opener was that, too. High skill. Ugh. And then I go and throw it all away. The way that those guardian weapons ignite this is so is cool. Fast. Watch yourself. Where? Ow. Andrew. Am I saying your name? T Gap? T G A P Andrew? I don't know. Thank you very much for the sub and for gifting subs. I really appreciate that. Thanks for supporting the the effort to deeply savor quality video games. Alright. Glad to hear it. Okay. Like maybe shield bounce these back? Oh, I can't with not with, not with that. <sighs> not with that. 
Yeah, how about that smooth frame rate though? Isn't that so beautiful? Oh, it really is. I just can't get over it. I, I gush and gush about it. There's not just not nothing left to say. It kind of speaks for itself. Oh, so Dr. Funk, I wasn't doing so bad earlier. I do have some attack up food, but I'm still kind of learning the patterns. I got to phase two, no problem. Um, well, with some problems. There were problems. I don't know what I'm saying. Oops, oops. Okay, hold on, hold on. Well, whatever. I just need to draw my shield before I get killed. Well, I guess if he... to do it, right? Yeah. Okay. That's one of the things that I liked, or that I thought was cool about the balance in master mode, is that you're never, like, at least against the, the blights, as long as you have an inventory of weapons, you can usually get it done, you know? Um, they never, with the exception of, like, they can do it in shrines. They'll, they'll put you in a fight that you can't win uh, just because the enemy has too much health or something like that. Um, but the Thunder Blights, like, it's a, it's always a knife fight. You both, but, like, you do enough damage to actually be able to win, which I, I found surprising. They do account for the fact that you can kind of go to any of the Blights at any time. Because it would suck to get all the way to the end and just, like, like, you just, you break all your weapons on the boss and they don't die and that's it. That's just how it goes. I guess it's possible to get in that state. Oh, he got hit? Oh, it's not coming out! Come here, you nerd. Dr. Sinwar! So good to see you. Oh, thanks for the sub. I've done the deed. Simultaneously got my girlfriend hooked on Breath of the Wild, and I lost the battle. Final Fantasy XIV, I'm a bard. Also, hey. Uh, we have so much in common gaming-wise. Oh, my God. Oh. Also, uh, hey. Oh, my God. You, okay. Didn't know he would do that in phase two. Because, like, I just ran around and he just kept doing the, the pylon thing. So, for some reason, I thought that's all he would do. Yoosh. Uh, good to know. You know, we're learning. Always learning. But, yes, you have... This thing is fast. It's, uh, Watch probably it. some of the best Japanese-made games. Maybe best games made? You don't gotta like 14, but holy cow, is it, is it, like, growing up, it's just like, it's the exact game that I thought might be able to exist someday. If everything went right, and somehow it did. Oh, what? That's weird. So you can, like, cash in late a little bit. Pranks. I thought I could get another one off. He comes after you fast, though. That's intimidating, man. All that smoke. Maybe I should just go for attack. Because I take, like, I die, and then it hits anyway. Shucks. Ah, oh, T Gap, thanks for gifting another sub there. Oh man. man he's doing me any favors. Wow! Okay. I need to eat again. <laughs> okay, alright. Beautiful. 
It sucks that he gets it back as soon as, uh... I don't think I have any more one-handed weapons. Well, this is going to get real fun. Hmm. Spear's fast, but... Man. There we go. Okay, this ought to do it, actually. <laughs> hey, 420 somewhere? Accurate. I like it. Seeing this at over 30 FPS makes it look like a new game. Absolutely. Yes. It's... I usually don't... Like, it's so rare, I think, that a game just looks so transformatively better than this game does. Oh, shucks. I'm in the wrong spot. Okay, we're well, on He's up there. Ugh. Oh. me again oh man that's so fast he must do extra damage in the second phase too oh yes act fast this is definitely an emulator yeah you I, I have to be ready there's no like I get the two shots on him and then I gotta be ready to backflip I'm almost tempted to stick with this until phase two just to make sure that I have a one-hander This thing is fast. Watch yourself. I can't. I, he does that before you can even lock onto him. There was no. There was no like carrot above his head or anything. He just wouldn't let you do it. I'm a little at a loss for how to handle that. To be honest. So I turned the camera even up towards him and hit left bumper. It centered the camera behind me. Zoom, 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 he's got me. I guess I can always backflip. If I'm holding left, if I'm holding left, I can backflip no matter what. And as long as I'm facing the right direction, the, ba the backflip should save me. I won't get the fu uh, flurry rush. But that's better than dying, I think. Also, yeah, I am I am very fond of Link just writhing in agony. <laughs> it's almost like a mixture of, of pain and frustration. Uh, whenever Link dies in the emulator and he's just like tossing and turning on the ground. It almost reminds me of like, you know when you tried to hit a stunt jump as a kid on a bike. And you like hit real hard and you like slouch forward and you knock the wind out of your chest on the handlebars. And then you just kind of like pull off to the side and slump over on the ground and you're just kind of like rolling there. And it's equal parts frustration that it wasn't awesome because it should have it looked awesome in your head hitting that cool stunt jump but also it hurts really bad so you're just kind of like it's equal parts physical pain and frustration that's link rolling around on the ground he missed his cool stunt jump <laughs> peter griffin grabbing his shin I, it's a little more profound than that but close that's that's very very close ah <sighs> anyway shucks okay let me try this again I feel like there's a there's a dark technique to uh, handling the camera this thing is and fast. watch yourself and like appropriately dodging. It's not that. Oh, your weapon link. Oh, it's not that either. Boy, is it not that. Interesting. 
I was in the middle of my jump, so you have to actually time the back jump pretty, pretty intentionally. I'm also remembering the buttons. Because the buttons in Breath of the Wild are a little funky. <sighs> but yeah, it's multi shot and bombs. That's a. Uh, that's. I can't remember. I think I may have just kind of like. Because they give you the triple shot coming into this, and they give you a lot of bomb arrows. So I remember kind of the first time playing this being like, yeah, you could just nuke his ass. Just think, we're going to have triple meat arrows soon. Watch yourself. Can you swap weapons in the middle of a flurry rush? No way, dude! Oh! The deep techniques. How cool is that? Man, this game rules. That's some hardcore shit. Switching weapons like while time's frozen because you just did a just did a well-timed dodge. Watch that lightning. Thanks. <laughs> okay, let me think about this. Uh yes, okay, I'm gonna zap him. I'm gonna hit him. And then he's coming for me. He's coming for me right away. I gotta be wary of that. Okay. I know he'd be so high that you couldn't really... <laughs> it turns out it's not one, but many slashes. Huh. Do I just have to run? Maybe I just run away from him. Like, sprint. That's... shucks. I don't know what that... I guess I, guess I could... I didn't exactly time it perfectly. Would hitting a flurry rush cancel the boss's other two hits? Probably. Probably. And I imagine if I were spamming back jump, I might have been able to land a flurry rush off one of the second this thing ones. Is fast. Or one of the other hits, you know. I just thought there was one. I thought there was one slash. Got any thunder resist stuff? I don't think so. All right, come look. <laughs> I ha I still haven't tried to like parry the thunderballs because it seems like it seems like a thing you might be able to shield bash back. Which I do by hitting that. Yes. That is the thing that I hit. That's the button. I should try that? What's the worst that could happen? This thing is fast. Watch yourself. I will try that. Eventually. Watch this. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna give myself an attack buff and switch weapons while I'm backflipping. I got his he got his shield back. Ooh. <laughs> this shit is tough. You can't really flow chart him. It's kind of interesting. This 
This thing is fast. Watch yourself. Shield equips. Yep. 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 That's a big sword I was holding. That's a two hander. Seems like one of those fights where it's hard but almost frustratingly doable. Yeah. Hard but fair, I guess. The I guess what's unfair about it is how long you're expected to not get hit. But that is that is pretty directly a factor of a couple of like it's a lot of things that are directly under my control I could just leave I could exchange like my stamina for hearts uh, and give myself maybe like two or three more hits so there's a lot I could do even right now to, to turn it in my favor I just kind of like this it's an interesting challenge to try to, to try this to learn and, and I feel like it's going to look badass once I get it it's going to be an epic battle Oosh, bad timing. <laughs> there was even a battle tip that was like, don't throw yourself at enemies over and over or something like that. Uh, unless there's like an ingredient that I can eat. I could probably make elixirs with... Uh, Thunder resist. I get why it would be out of place, but it'd be kind of cool if there was like a like a pot up here. But that the like that's another thing. Is just leave, make potions, and come back. But I'm obstinate. Uh, okay. Actually, I'm gonna accept humility on this one. Well, let me let me try to parry a couple more times. On Burn a little bit of time dying to something. Like, you know, Damn, man. Oh, man. Okay, I don't think you can parry those. I'm going to judge that you can't. Chat, if you can, you can correct me. But on the road productions, thanks for the sub. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing very well. Doing very, very well. A lot of excellent gaming lately. And spending good time with good friends. Just went on a nice trip with Stephanie, so I'm glowing from that. That's great. Playing Zelda? Playing Zelda? This thing is fast. Watch yourself. Getting absolutely humbled and humiliated by Thunderblade. Yeah. Go for it. More strats. I should go for the big one, right? Why am I not just using the biggest one? This is just two. Alright. Yeah, there's a lot about this timeline that sucks, but at least we got Zelda. We got Zelda out of it. Equip the Mist Raven on your Shinobi prosthetic. You can use it to get a lightning reversal. Ah, oh, Mist Raven. Where did the swishy switches? Where are you, dude? Oh, 
I forgot. It's two. I need to spam back jump. Mm. I don't know. If, do you think that's gonna work? It seems like he's just on me so hard. But if it's if that doesn't work, what would? There's no way that I can just hold block through that. It's it's gonna eviscerate my shield and then me like instantly. Maybe I can soak it. But it's definitely not something that he can do to me more than like once, or he'll just kill me. Hmm. I'm gonna be able to go back to Tears of the Kingdom on Switch after playing so nicely on Simu on PC? Probably not, no. The answer is no. Hopefully I won't have to. So there's that. I thought I got the timing on that one. Okay. Oh yeah, it feels great playing. Just the responsiveness, the smoothness. Yeah, it's... It really, it really does make the experience just a, a noticeable mark better. And then, and again, I feel like that's, it's just not that drastic with most games. I mean, it's nice. It's always nice. More frames is always nice. Maybe a game like Destiny is another game that's just like, it's just different when the frame rate is, is so high and it's so responsive and, and fast. to soak it. I just have to hold my shield and pray. Cause the you can't just like backflip forever. There's there's like a pause. He's gonna get me in that pause. Hmm man. Or or I just have to flurry rush the first hit. Have to. Either I soak it, or I have to flurry rush, or I die. That's it. This thing is fast. <laughs> or I leave and get potions and, and get more hearts. <sighs> God damn, though. So you don't have to be locked on, or maybe I did. I don't know. I don't understand. I wanna I wanna understand the the whole kit and caboodle about wind flurry rush procs. <sighs> Kicked my ass for salt two hours when I fought him. Yeah, this is a pretty one of the more memorable like boss encounters. It, it kind of sucks that a lot of the bosses or the divine beast blight Ganon blights end up looking a little samey. They're definitely not as as wildly different as most Zelda dungeon bosses have been. Uh, just like completely different sorts of designs and crazy monster types. These are all just kind of like floating chunky dudes with particular attacks. I guess when phase two starts also, I need to make sure I switch to a one-armed sword. 
he like he had this this shield out, and I was like, great, I'm, this is good. I can. Uh, uh. What's up, lemon? He tricked me. He did. <laughs> the one time he changed. He's done that the first time every time. Maybe it's just because I was closer to him. Which might be the trick. Um, man, this right. thing is fast. Watch yourself. Yeah, you don't say. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. The Divine Beasts themselves are sort of... are sort of that entity. Think about it that way. Goes pretty quick. Maybe. Oh God, do I try to get the flurry rush? I need maybe two, maybe three. Unless there's more ways. Well, I guess the the pylons do damage. I guess, I guess without knowing the exact factors that cause a flurry rush to happen, like you don't have to be, do you have to be locked on? And if so, how can I ensure that I will lock on to this damn thing when it teleports in front of me? I don't know. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. don't think you have to be locked on is it purely just uh back jumping at the right time give a little hop okay now i'm gonna switch to shield one-handed sword, so I can just maybe t try to tank this. I have a pretty good shield right now. It's just timing? Okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll just look for the timing. Okay, and then Magnesis. He's right here. That's actually really nice. Okay. That was interesting, I guess. Shit! Oh. oh! What is he doing, man? He's on my ass. What do I do? Uh. Uh. He's right there. Yeah, trap, trap unit. This is on PC. See, you, you just really, really do have to get the flurry rush there. You just have to. There's, n there's like no other way. I don't think. You can't just like he just hits me through my shield because it's electric. Uh, and I can't like dodge it because he just dogs me down. Maybe I can just sprint away from him, but like. 
Like maybe, maybe if you just run around enough, he'll do another pylon phase, and then th that's the only safe damage you get. If I, if I do not hit the right button to draw my sword out, I die. Because that means I've jumped. Maybe if I waited to finish my jump. Mm. Make sure to hit cancel to unequip the bow before he rushes. Well, that's the, that's the problem, is all the buttons. This game has a lot of buttons. And they're all different. This thing is fast. So, I'm Watch definitely yourself. still tripping up on the buttons. Fucking on. Canceling that. Uh, drawing sword. Well done. Oh, like you can get in on that late, which is odd. I was in the middle of a backdash. I would not have counted. Oh! I was stuck in my attack animation. So I just got to sit there and watch that ball leisurely travel across the room. Eee. The next Zelda game better only have one big button that says win. <laughs> I like it being hard. I mean, I'm playing on master mode right now. Um, I'm doing this on purpose. This thing is I'm glad that Breath of the Wild has that aspect because the original Legend of Zelda did. It's, it really was part of its DNA for a while. Not just being hard, but having a, a complicated world where you could elect to do things in a certain way that made it more difficult or made more mechanics more relevant. That was me. That was me. That was slow reaction. Fuck, man. That was also me. remember which button it was to switch. Couldn't remember. Link. Uh, no. Okay. I thought I was gonna die. Okay, okay. I'm gonna pull it back. <laughs> yeah, be dazzled. Breath of the Wild is 60 FPS. Sure is sure is something beautiful, isn't it? Watch that. Sure is some kind of wonderful. Too high, which is kind of. You didn't even move! <sighs> oh wow, that actually. Weird? Okay, that worked, I guess. Well, I'm not dead. 
somehow. This is it, this is the time. What? Since when could you do this? He's doing all kinds of stuff now. Stamina. <laughs> Summoning pylons again? That'd be cool. No, you're not. What is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh! Okay, okay, you can just run away from it. Oh! Oh! Okay, that's what that is. He does a shield bash and then a slash. If he just, like, shield rushes you. Okay. I wonder if the. Hmm. Cause I can, I can just run away from his, his like, shield twirl. It seems like if I'm just running, he like, teleports into a spot and does his spin. And then I can like, stop and then punish it. It seems like, it seems like there's a punish window on that. Um, doing flurry rush is obviously the, the, the more gamer way. Swag points way. Watch yourself. See, when he, when he goes up and doesn't get his shield back, if I can remember to just drill him with arrows, he gets the second phase, like, immediately. He still doesn't have a shield back. I wonder if I can just shoot him. Watch that lightning. Oh, no, he got it back. All right, interesting. Man, that's first. It seems like it's even a little bit faster than the first time. Like the timing shifts a little bit. Holy cow. Mm. Maybe there's a way to bait that. If I'm like sprinting close to him, close to his corpse. We played any Redfall. It's like all I've been playing today. Yeah. Quite a bit of it actually. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. I need to remember to try to backdash again. To see if I can cash in on getting it. Is PC port good? I heard it's bad. A lot of people have had problems with it. It um I have a pretty a pretty upgraded and pretty contemporary machine. And it actually drops frames pretty hard when there's like particular effects on screen. So I would say it's it's probably not up to what anyone would consider like good optimization status. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. So yeah, and it, and it doesn't look particularly impressive either. So it doesn't really even justify not running well. Fucking shit. Up, Link. How's the gameplay loop? Eh, it's fine. It's unremarkable. You've, you've played you've played games like this before, and it doesn't really offer anything remarkably new or unique. But it is like a different flavor of that. So if uh, if you want that kind of experience with just a different flavor, there it is. And it's not bad. Like there's 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 uh, like baseline video game fun to be had in co-op looter shooters that is that is still there even if it's not a superlative version of that thing. Oh. Just 
pop him immediately, right? Yeah. What? What was that? <laughs> Come on. So because his weapon was charged, I guess I touched it and it zapped me. Because I ran too close to him? Uh, Sunday best. I, I have a couple of, uh, like, performance mods, but no, like, gameplay altering ones. Mm. These electrofights are regular attacks with metal weapons, don't work. This thing Great. is fast. What? Yeah. I, uh. I guess I can hit him with arrows. Uh, that'll probably work. <laughs> Man, why is that working? Exactly what I want, an open world looter shooter that isn't division. It's, it is that. It's 100% that. Can't go wrong if that's what you're looking for. Okay, so now he's all sparked up. I guess I could try to hit him with guardian swords and stuff. Link. So yeah, you really just have to, you have to flurry. You have to hit that. Man. Oh, man. But he whooshes so much. He whooshes a lot. And not every whoosh is a, is an attack. Like it's. <laughs> this thing is fast. You got a McFlurry? I want a McFlurry. Thank you, Static Burst for the sub. Not it. Yeah. You did it. Get ready for the whoosh whoosh and hopefully hit it. I guess if I can hit two flurry rushes in a row, uh, then maybe hopefully I get the timing if he does a shield rush thing. I don't, it doesn't seem like he ever does this again. The pylons and stuff once he does it the first time. 
much easy and free damage, I guess. <laughs> I guess that was too early. That's the only answer, right? If you didn't get the flurry rush, either you were too too early or you got hit. Those are the only. Is that is that how to tell it? I don't know. Uh, Phoenix puns. It is crisp because the power of the PC is powering this instead of the power of a dated uh, Android TV or whatever the hell. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. How? way to do this is with 1500 bomb arrows and five Lionel bows you can't like shoot them all the time though otherwise I definitely would have tried that can you really just like you can't burn him down he, he takes no damage during this phase but maybe after you like hit him with the if you hit him with the thing How does it get better than that? Yeah, you don't say. Shit, he's got me. <sighs> he was on my ass before I even stood up. He was shoving me around. Sheesh. I don't know if the I don't know if the uh, flurry rush window is tinier on master mode. I don't know if they affected that. <sighs> Did see the value in having more hearts though. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. victorious every time. Oops. Side jump for the shield rush? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I guess I assumed that he would just track perfectly into me, but I guess you're right. If it's just like just if it's just a charge, maybe if I get out of the way. Yeah, maybe that'll work. Let's see if I can remember that in the heat of the moment. Pissed off. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, 
<sighs> this thing is yeah, instant transmission. Teleported into me with a sword. <sighs> I'm gonna wake up. I appreciate that. I don't feel very goaded right now. Mm. It's pretty cool though when he comes out of the snow uh, smoke like that. Oh, you can get a jump attack after a stun. That's good to know. take one of those as long as I have I'm like overhealed. This thing is powerful. What? <laughs> Fuck. God, the camera never looks where I need it to. Oh man. Like if you hit if you hit left trigger or yeah if you hit left trigger while you're on the ground, the camera just flips to the most awkward and random positions. So you got, I guess I just got to be really, really judicious about when I have I hit that button. But it's such a vital button. God, if you miss the first flurry rush, you're kind of fucked. Like it's just the, ugh, it's just so chaotic. This it's so fast. fast. Watch yourself. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. It wasn't the balls, it was just me touching his shield, I think. Right? Or was it a ball? I thought it was just me making contact with his electrified shield. This thing is fast. 
Watch yourself. So if it's the shield, uh, I, there was a like a time when he didn't. How do you how do you break his shield? It seems like it's something that has happened a couple of times. And there's there's an explicit mechanic around him summoning it again. I guess he just hit it. Oh fuck, dude! He didn't even womp womp womp. He was just there. That wasn't fair. I mean, a lot of this isn't fair. You okay? No. What the fuck? <laughs> He's straight up just teleporting in front of me and hitting me immediately. Okay, so maybe if I hit him with guard or I hit his shield with guardian weapons, I can break his shield in second phase. But I can't touch him. I have to like hit him with weapons, but or maybe hit his shield with weapons, but not touch him. I don't know if I can break his shield during a flurry window either. It's possible to use the bow at all in a flurry window? I don't think so. Or I don't think you get a flurry rush out of a bow. You can probably shoot. Missed the first jump. Missed the absolute first one. Too early, I guess? But it wouldn't have worked anyway, actually, since I had a metal sword equipped. And I gotta remember to switch. Switch to the guardian sword, maybe? It can break his shield. At least it can in the first phase. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. <laughs> it hurts. Time. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. I'm probably like only going to try a couple more times and then yeah, I probably have to leave and do a little crap. I just realized too late. There is valor in dodging. <laughs> fuck, fuck. God, he just doesn't stop. You have no chance to like do anything he's just on you all the time with like three very fast hard to hard to read attacks that are that are way more than just like do one thing to, to dodge them jeez man i can't believe i forgot to change weapons because there's a lot going on this thing is fast watch yourself i'll watch i'll watch it don't worry Why doesn't he dodge the- like he doesn't always blink the same amount of times, which is pretty brutally unfair.
Oops. Oh, fuck. I thought that got him. What? Dude, that attack is such bullshit. What the fuck is that? Ugh. He's just, he's just attacking you. He just teleports into you. So ridiculous. All right, switch to guardian. Watch that. It's really all down to that one. It's really all down to that one. If I can get that and then like get a few more hits in. Maybe a couple of bomb arrows in the meantime. But yeah. If I just come back with more hearts, uh This thing is fast. What like uh thunder resist up. A lot of that stuff should help. Fairies. Camera, please. <laughs> I don't understand, man. <laughs> yeah, bomb arrows are effective, but getting his shield down is not easy. He doesn't sit still long enough for you to hit his shield in second phase. Otherwise, that would be, I think, super viable. Also, his shield is electrified, so I can't hit it with anything metal. Um, but he's he's moving around so much that I can never just pin him down and get a couple of shots on his shield. He teleports away, then teleports back into me and stabs me. And then I die. If I could just get two flurry rushes in a row on some of the fastest, hardest to predict attacks, that'll probably be it. That's easy, right? And also, I guess, hope that, that I don't clip his shield. I guess I'm too early. I'm too early every time. Man. Man, I don't know, man. Maybe that is something I can just run away from and hit him with bomb arrows. I'll try that a couple more times. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. As long as I don't, like, run into a wall or anything.
do have a spear. Ah, oh, I was. That was weird. What? That was weird. That was weird. Pokes could potentially avoid the electrified weapon and shield as well. The only potentially useful the guardian stuff doesn't work. It's, uh, I mean, it's all kind of mooted. He never gives me an opportunity to just attack him, to, like, get his shield. He might, actually, if I can, if I run away from Be his, fast. like, second Watch phase yourself. slashy attack, if I just sprint and he just does it, then there's, like, a pretty, there's, like, a nice phase after that where, uh, he just kind of it seems to be sitting there. And that's the kind of thing where I feel like if I hit him, then I'd probably hit his shield. And then I might be able to break his shield, and then I might be able to just spam him with bomb arrows. <laughs> that's a theory. I'm trying to push it later because I feel like I'm too early. Spark, I'm gonna sparkle him down. I'll hit him with uh, some bomb arrows, and then I'll just start sprinting away from him in like a straight line. And let's see what he does. Let's see what happens. Oh, shield's not sparkled. move oh what is that move oh where he just whoosh and just stabs you just stabs you i mean okay i'm i'm i feel a little bit better about running away from that and then punishing it and then i i feel like experimenting with that hopefully i can nab him in something where i can pop a shield that's that's all i can hope for and then I can turn that into this potentially a lot fast. of damage. Watch yourself. But I feel like that's a good avenue to explore. Well you learned Flurry ignores the shield shine. Huh? We did, no, we didn't. It was not. No, we learned. We did not learn that. His shield was not electrified. Specifically, not activated. It's like it's got a visible sparkle of like static effect on it when it has that effect that will like f me up if I touch it. I don't know what makes it activate or not. Um, because that would also be fantastic information to have. <laughs> Lose it in the push. Oh, ma yeah, maybe. Maybe the shield bash spends it. Dude, 
reason I never expect him to get up that fast. I don't know what it is. Maybe if he shield press, like if he hits me with a shield press, there's time to lock on and then side jump? He doesn't seem to do the, the thing I can run away from after the first time. Maybe I can hit him with two arrows too when I knock him down. Watch yourself. Because that did a fair amount of damage. I wonder if I can just spam him, spam arrows and kill him right then. That'd be great. Well Punish window is so short. Maybe I want to run away from him, and once he starts cutting it up, I just start blasting him with arrows. I just start blasting him. Maybe if I can get one good spread on him when he falls, and then another couple of volleys in him while he's doing his attack chain, just like three triple arrows. This thing is fast. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. He's out. I think if you break his shield before phase two, it doesn't get electric. Theory. does that instant dash hit immediately after. That's always his next move. At least it has been so far. What's up, unofficial Zodiac killer? Perfect shields. I didn't react in time. So, he's invincible while he's doing his attack, I think. Um, unless I mis misunderstood what I saw there. It's like, it's kind of like when he's in the, when he's floating around in the air. Just him having a shield means that the bomb arrows don't do anything. 
And also, they don't break his shield. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. <laughs> I don't know how to get up. There we go. You did it. That was a, a, a total accident, but pretty funny. I didn't keep the picture. I wish I did. <laughs> Whatever, it's in the stream. I've got the memories. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of at a loss, man. I guess I can run out of range and then try to run back in range and if I can yeah if I can just land hits but it's gonna be hmm, we'll see uh, I don't have a, whole, a ton of confidence but we'll see Man, there's one back there too oh, come on yeah I'm gonna give up soon I need to, I need to prep. This is silly. I, I still am not sure how I can get any kind of dignified damage in on the second phase. Mm. All right, this is my last attempt and I mean it. And I mean it, baby. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. Look at that. First try. I was hoping to break a shield, but yeah, maybe it is. Maybe you do have to break a shield first, because yeah, it's it's n not broken in this cutscene, and now it's all sparkled. Watch that lightning! Because he definitely doesn't have it, and he has to summon it again. Do it though. If I can just get one combo on him, because I can get two two arrow hits. Is it the last one? No, this is the last one. This is the last one for real. It's not the gamer way. Teton is correct. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. if I back jump early then that creates a window to hit a shield a little more reliably. Yeah, here we go. Sparkle shield. Maybe there's a way to desparkle his weapon. Oh, 
shit! I thought I could get three hits. Okay. Yeah, his shield is normal there. Okay. It seems like- okay, it seems like the winning play is... If I can get... Two arrow hits, and then a... And then a flurry rush. That's gotta do it, right? And then even maybe another another arrow hit right after that. This but thing is fast. That's got to do it. Watch yourself. the shield Now's your chance. just for funds there we go okay because yeah if the shield is not electrified then I don't think I'll die as soon as I come out of the flurry rush so I'll get to keep the damage from the flurry rush probably do a follow-up arrow hit provided the flurry rush knocks him away which it ought to so this seems like a seems like a strat Yeah, thanks for the observation about breaking the shield in the first phase. That was really the key. Because if his shield was all electrified, then I wouldn't have been able to break it in the second phase, so yeah. <gasps> Very good. I will sleep. The sleep of champions. The sleep of warriors. <laughs> Malty Wyatt, thank y'all. And TikTok chat, thank you everyone. Thank you Chaim, Eza. Silent Ocalypse, thank you all. Cyber Ham Sandwich. Soren, appreciate it. Can and Go Boom, thank you very much. S Selenith, hope I'm saying that right, thank you very much. Oh, look at that pristine heart container. Gorgeous. Give me that, give me that melody. Give me that... <sighs> Fanfare, that's the word. Mmm. <laughs> Feels good! Wait, you can't ever come back? I thought you could go back to any of them. Hmm. Hold on. Are there any treasures that I didn't get? Somebody said that they were pretty visible, but... Eh, I'll just have to trust. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Getting out of here forever. Divine Beast 2 down. Does this- is this the shield? I can't remember. No. Is this- is this like a damage buff? Uh oh. It's horny time. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Link. Thanks to your valor and skill, my soul is free. And Noboros is ours once again. Which means that finally, we can complete what we started years ago. We Gerudo have no tolerance for unfinished business. I've waited so long for the moment to see you finally rush Hyrule Castle. As well as for the moment when I incinerate Ganon into a pile of ash. 
Which reminds me, I wanted to give you a little something. Please oh. accept this gift, which has come to be known as Urbosa's Fury. It will no doubt be of use to you. Um. <laughs> Both you and the princess. I know you have suffered much regarding what happened to us champions. But this is how things had to happen. No one need carry blame. So please, make it clear so she understands that. Tell her to shed any worries. And let her know. I couldn't be more proud of her. You take good care of the princess. Oh, and also, take good care of Hyrule. Nice. Oh, pressure off. Now I just get to leisurely roam Hyrule a little bit. Stock up some hearts. Get some weapons. Some Korok seeds, maybe? Oh, a Chewy Hive. Man. This does look pretty good, huh? It's... It is pretty, uh, impressive. It, it honestly makes me really excited for a future where there's, like, a, a more powerful switch that can just scale up. Like Splatoon and Bayonetta. I think all those games are just going to really sing high resolution and high frame rate. So I really hope there's a switch, switch platform or some Nintendo platform in the future that can take these games and just crank them up. Feels like the Switch platform should be on a platform that could scale up like that. Unlike many Nintendo other other Nintendo platforms, but yeah, something you could just a Nintendo PC launcher. Gosh, Nintendo's baffling. Sometimes they are a business with a capital B, and that part of Nintendo would absolutely like see the see the money Sony's making and be like, what the? We want that. Like 10 million sales, 15 million sales, it seems, on PC for some of their games. But Nintendo ain't like that. Noboru, legend of the Gerudo, celebrated over ages. Sometimes. And you, who were named to honor her. You are a legend as well. Isn't that right, Noboru? The bitter essence of defeat from a century ago still sits upon my tongue. But that is now in the past. It was written that Calamity Ganon once adopted the form Companies of... Companies genuinely scared that PC will take some market share or something? And that... No. Will um, make this victory I mean, Nintendo makes money on their hardware. And they have that's been a business model that has worked so I well like for them. Now I so there could just be that. Personally. Or that is that is absolutely a factor. But Once we've established Nintendo is fiercely protective of their it will be up to their brand to keep Ganon occupied and until their, the their in, the integrity of their franchises. That moment um, is going to. So be part of me so thinks that they're probably really skittish about releasing on a <laughs> platform that's not secured by their own anti-piracy measures, um, and also just like data mining and stuff. They're also a pretty protective company because people people are always trying to mine around for what they're doing. So, if people got, like, a, a Nintendo release and mined it, people come up with all kinds of weird theories and probably find all kinds of weird stuff. I'm not saying that these are the reasons. These are just potential reasons. Um, you also have to, like, I think support is a cost that you they may not want to uh, take on. Like, they'll pay to support, actively support their own stuff, but supporting everyone's PCs that has, like... 20 year old printers and weird drivers and all that stuff. They've got to make sure that all those people have good experiences too. And again, in a very Nintendo way. And I know it's ironic talking about good experiences when Zelda's going to run at like 20 FPS, but it's more like they, I believe pretty thoroughly that like Nintendo's the kind of company, much like Apple, where they want 
They only want their stuff to run on their hardware so they can make absolutely sure that it will work and give people like a safe, um, easy, remote, or relatively trouble-free experience. And that's largely how Nintendo products work, you know? Um, we can, we as enthusiast gamers can, can roll our eyes at maybe their lack of modern features. Uh-oh. <laughs> But uh, I think, I, I really do think a lot of that is they target such a mass audience that they want to make sure the features they include will be used and appreciated by that mass audience and uh -huh. also included in such a way that is not confusing at all to that mass audience. I think their late adoption on just online infrastructure in general is part of that. Uh, I think the gamer audience wanted online multiplayer long before the market Nintendo was really catering to and for cared about it. Um, at least according to the market research they were looking at. So so I think that's another part of it too. They don't want people to associate Mario with being buggy or running weird or not running at all. Um, so another possible theory just related to how kind of... I mean, I think they've even, they've even said before that like as a company, um, their value, like if... If people lose the association with quality that they have for the Nintendo brand and all of its all of its franchises, then their company's like that's it. Uh, that's what they rely on to to turn their business. Unlike some other some other game companies that have other lines and stuff like that. Doesn't really. Well, I guess Sony's got you know TVs. Uh, Microsoft has Windows and a lot of other stuff. Yeah. Uh, so weird. It's, um, yeah, the, you know, people like to say they're behind, but they're an efficiently run entertainment company. They find the markets that haven't been taken and they find ways to sell products to those consumers. So they're, they're like, uh, it, it relates to something that I was talking about on stream a while ago that there is this sort of, there's, since, since technology is the platform on which games run, and also because of the fact that humans in general don't do a lot of critical examination of the role of technology, it's just generally assumed that better te pe technology is better. Why wouldn't you just grab the next thing? Um, especially when it comes to games, right? Better technology makes for better games, or it opens up more possibilities, which make for better games. But I don't, I don't think Ninten like Nintendo's always approached games as an entertainment product, like a toy. Um, which is not to say simple, because Breath of the Wild is not simple. But it's more like, it's not necessarily assuming that the most modern tech makes the most business sense, or necessarily even is necessary to provide the experience that they need to, to sell a bunch of stuff. So they've always been a, way, a little more practically, they've been outside the, a lot of the presumptions in gaming enthusiasts, enthusiasm circles. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to go to sleep, probably. I'm gonna get up and do some stuff tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna get in a stream tomorrow. It's gonna be a pretty, pretty, pretty busy day tomorrow. Also doing some socializing. Got to record an inside games, so we'll see. Uh, I want to play more Zelda. I gotta play more Zelda. If I'm gonna fold this away before uh, Tears of the Kingdom comes out, and that's the goal. Then I gotta get back on Armored Core. I gotta play more. Uh, I didn't even play Jedi Survivor, and I was so excited for that game. Today was a Redfall day. When the gamers call Redfall, it's time to Redfall. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope to see you next time, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. See ya.